Right, where Gene right. McComb faces Oliver Miller. John Worley and I were there to call the action. The seven round main event super middleweight division. McComb in red, Miller in the black pants. The story is that uh, if a fighter has a good jab, Gene McComb will get hit 15 times in every round by it because he doesn't really avoid too much. He just keeps coming and moves right through things. Good defense moves that time by Oliver Miller. There's a nice jab. Nice jab, too. McComb's nose is already a little red from that first jab. It had something on it. Oliver Miller showing some very quick feet. Miller stays on the ball of his feet, moves a lot. Whereas McComb just plants those feet. He stands right there. He likes to dig in so he can really get something on those hooks and hands. Miller that time. Good counter movement. Good timing. Oliver Miller looks to be a pretty talented athlete. If he can keep from getting hit with a big right hand, he can sure give Gene McCall some problems. John, I really have a feeling that Oliver Miller is the type of fighter that, uh, with a little direction and a little bit more expertise, could develop into a contender himself. He certainly moves well. Has the natural see. tools. He's moving left, moving right. Lateral movement. He's not allowing McComb to really set up on him. McComb needs to kind of get set before he can really hit with that power. And uh, Miller's kind of keeping him off balance by, by staying on the balls of his feet and moving. There's the end of round one. Don't be left in the dark. Round two underway. Oliver Miller in black. And McComb in red. McComb coming out with a little bit more determination now. Oliver Miller, a very articulate young man from Columbus, Mississippi. Started his karate in 1973. Been in full contact training for three years. Started full contact at Mississippi State University, where he's an accounting major. He has a chain of karate schools in Mississippi now that he's out of school. Miller needs to stay kind of away from that back leg. He threw a right leg from the rear side there. And McComb is likes to see that sort of thing coming from the back side because he'll step inside and really throw the right hand. Miller needs to keep using the front hand, front leg, as he's doing now. There's the back leg kick that you mentioned. Good right hand that time by Miller. Backed him up. Beautiful left jab by Miller that time. And a nice follow-up. At this stage, Miller is picking the shots. He's scoring the more cleanly delivered blows. This fight is going pretty much like his corner, I'm sure, and telling him it has to go. He does not want to get his back to those ropes. Dropping the hands to block that back leg round kick, and uh, that, of course, would leave him open, and I'm sure with the experience that McComb has, notice that after that move. I'm surprised that McCombs is not, and McComb is not cutting off the ring a little more effectively. He's letting Miller move around. He's not cutting and controlling that ring. Just That's maybe it. those jabs are a little more powerful than McComb's been used to. Good combination that time. Followed up the jab. There's the bell in another very impressive round for Oliver Miller. Might be interesting to go into that corner and see what they're saying. Gene McCobb has Ron Rajon as his manager. Jimmy Smith is the trainer. Billy Singletary and Jimmy Smith, his corner people. McComb in the red pants. He wants to move on him, stay on him. Likes the double jab, spinning back fist. He saw him try it once. But so far, Miller has been able to stay free of... Uh, the solid contact. I'm sure that they're telling him he's got to control the ring. That's what's happening right now. He can't, he hasn't been able to control this ring. And Oliver Miller has been moving, moving, and keeping a lot of ring behind him so he has room to get away. The left jab is open to Welp under the eye. 
up a call under the right eye little swelling McComb needs to accelerate his pace a little bit he's, he's plotting a little bit too much and a little too slow he needs to keep pressure on if he's going to be able to get inside on Miller he's got to put more pressure on he's waiting scheduled for seven rounds This fight looked upon as a tune-up for McComb is turning out to be much more than that. At this stage, it certainly is. He's just got to be more active. McComb is going to have to be more active. He's going to win this fight. If he's planning to knock Miller out with one punch, I don't think that's a very wise type of fight plan for him at this point. McComb simply has not found the right combination to get to him. Of course, with the experience that McComb has, conditioning might play a big part later. Well, we're scheduled for seven. But Miller looks to be in pretty good shape right now. He doesn't seem to be tired. Time running out in this round. Too much weight. That's right there. McComb is getting Miller into the corner. And then standing there, he's not throwing enough leather. Goes with the front kick at the bell. McComb, of course, a seasoned veteran with 15 wins and three losses, ranked number three in the world. And Oliver Miller looking for a chance, looking to move up, looking for a good performance like he's having right now against Gene McComb to advance, get better fights, and get his program moving in a upward direction. Once again, Oliver Miller coming out and throwing the more numerous number of uh, punches and kicks. McComb. Kick to the front and a jab to the front. He's keeping him busy all the way. A nice left that time by McComb. Miller wisely got out of the corner just in time. And I'm sure McComb is trying to get in there and unload a, a series of punches. But he's got to do it more frequently. The left round kick from the lead leg. And Miller is very effective at coming up under the elbow. And you see Miller staying away from that spinning back fist that McComb likes so well. well. You're right, he is using the front leg front hand combination very well. The front leg hit low, to pull the elbows down, that opens up the head from the jab. It's a very basic contact type of uh, combination, but it's all very effective. Good body punch uh, coming out of that as well as you got a right hand to the body. Miller right now is taking exactly what McComb is giving him. We've got a redness now under the left eye of McComb and above the left eye. And he's taken four times the number of punches that Miller has taken. Miller cannot afford to stand still in the corner, however. No, he does not need to do that. It is not to McComb's credit. He's still not taking advantage of it. A grazing blow. Miller moved away from spinning back this then, as you say, and it, it wasn't a solid blow. He stayed out of, out of trouble. Miller throws a pretty solid right hand himself. Miller in the black, slowing his pace down now, and McKay, if McComb just not coming after him. There's the end of the fourth round. And the bell sounds for round number five, and Miller is not only in this fight, he is the unofficial leader, according to John Worley. Well, he's following his game plan almost to perfection. He's moving just like he said. He's not getting in there and trading inside with, with McComb when McComb's effective. And he gets out of the corners just in time. That's a dangerous part to be in with McComb. That's exactly where he does not want to be if he's going to stay in, stay in this fight. Fifth round, scheduled for seven. McComb being just too patient. McComb attempted then to go around, kick to the head. 
and just the momentum of the kick pulled him off his own feet. But you're right, McComb is waiting. He cannot wait. He's got to get him in the corner and keep him there. Nice back leg round kick. Got a good right hand that time. That was the really the first best shot that uh, McComb has land, landed as far as my opinion is concerned, John. Yeah, that one had something on it. That certainly did uh, rattle Miller more so than anything else McComb has hit him with. Miller has not been able to get that jab effectively in with power in this round that he has in the past. Almost as if he's trying to pace himself a little bit. A right hand sneaking in on Miller. McCombs seems to be wearing Miller down a little bit in this round. Five rounds is a long time to go. Miller has not gone this far before. Miller with 12 wins, two losses, six of the 12 wins by knockout. You can see why with that stiff punch. He's working on his kicks more and more. There's the end of round five. Wise advice. His corner advising that now is the time to put the pressure on him, and they're exactly right. He has two rounds. Unofficially, he is behind in this fight. He's going to have to really come back and win the next couple rounds big. Six rounds. And a scheduled seven rounder. Miller has to keep moving. He's got to stay away from the in, in close pressure. Left hand is going to tell. Spinning back kick. Good, good hard one, though. He threw it with a lot on it. Miller was able to stay away, and a good right hand hard to the body bounces Miller away. McComb is moving down on the jab, and therefore the jab has been ineffective in hitting high on the head. It's a good combination, and Miller hit with the left right. Once again, McComb waiting when he shouldn't be. He's got to get in there and get off first. He, should, he shouldn't pull out like that. He leans in there to throw the kick. It gives Miller a chance to pull away from the kick and then lean and pull out. McComb needs to follow those kicks immediately with his hand. Miller going back to the jab that's given him quite a few points in this fight. Spinning back fist and a good follow-up. Miller's got to stay on that move. Miller, the father of three, two boys, and he's very proud of their karate advancement. Three children, nine, seven, and three. A seven-year-old's a brown belt, was at six years old. A left hand that time sneaking in on Miller. We're in the sixth round. Fighters have got to be tiring down a bit with the movement and the punishment that's been dealt out. Hard rock jab this time, getting back to the target by Miller. This round so far is very even in my eyes. There's the bell, and we're going to go down to the final scheduled round, round number seven. What an impressive performance by Oliver Miller. And I know McComb is going to have to come out and win this round big if he's going to win this fight. This is the telling tale right here in round seven. Can Miller keep on the move, keep effective points? Hard round kick that time. Changed his lead foot. Good left jab. Miller really has been untouched except for one or two blows. Well, as I say, I had McCone winning one round. That's really the best that he's been able to do in my mind. Beating him to the punch and staying away from the corner. That back leg round kick has been the most effective move that McComb has had. It really has. He's been able to, uh -oh. to use the kick to set up really the only effective hand techniques that he's hit. Now it's not time for fancy stuff. You keep on the move. And it's not a smart thing for Oliver Miller to do. Another jab, coming back with the jabs. McComb trying to get in, trying to move out now a little bit more. Still not as aggressive as his corner would have liked. Yeah, he needs to really be pointed on now. He really needs to throw it into high gear and go. 
Another staying away from that spinning back fist. Well, that could put you out if it landed. One hit solid, that's all. He doesn't want to stay in the corner. Well, the final seconds are winding down here. We've got a weld on the top of the head near the hairline of Miller. I'm sure this partisan crowd expects to see uh, a decision here from McCone. That'll be interesting to see. It's going to be very interesting to see how it's, these judges are close enough to go either way. There's the bell. It ends the fight. Don't be late. A close decision. We have the judge's decision. Judge Winger scores the fight 69, Miller 68, McComb. Judge Daugherty scores it 68, McComb 67, Miller. Judge Sawyer scores it 68, McComb 67, Miller. The winner by split decision, Gene McComb. Well, you can't get it any closer, John Worley. You cannot get a fight any closer, and it was a brilliant, brilliant fight. First Oliver all, Miller moves himself into the world ratings with a great showing, and Gene McComb gets ready for Bob Thurman. Let's go.